Hey, what is up investors? Jason here. So today we're going to be covering the Bitcoin miners and they also mine some other cryptocurrencies as well. As you guys know, the, the Ethereum merge is coming up. So a lot of the miners have been getting out of doing Ethereum and looking for other things to mine as well. Uh, Ethereum Classic is one that is uh, being mined more so now, which is why we've been seeing the price of Ethereum Classic going up. So I want to cover these uh, blockchain miners. The ones that we're going to mostly focus on are Marathon Digital and Raya Blockchain, but we'll cover some of the other small ones as well. So as we get to it, if you don't mind, please do me a huge favor and please be sure to smash destroy, annihilate, or gently press that like button to help me out with the algorithm. Help spread the content to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe if you hadn't already and push that bell notification. Let's get to it. Throughout the month of July, we've been seeing these higher highs and these higher lows as well with Bitcoin as we gradually have been climbing upwards in price. Now, currently we have Bitcoin valued around its 20 and 50 day moving average. Now it is working its way above that 50 day moving average, and hopefully it is able to start trending upwards closer to that 100 day moving average. Now with these price increases with Bitcoin, it is changing the view of the crypto market at this moment. We are starting to see more people start buying back into crypto. And this has also been helping out that that fear and greed index with Bitcoin, where we've gone from extreme fear and now we've been in fear for a while, for, for pretty much th through the majority of the month of July, we've been in fear. So much better case since we were at in April all the way into July. Now, the current value of Bitcoin is still down 66% from where Bitcoin was at its highs back in November when Bitcoin was around almost $70,000. So things have uh, come down quite a bit. And when you think about these blockchain mining stocks, well, you can only imagine how much they have been beat up since Bitcoin had reached that high. Like for example, Marathon Digital, whose stock was above $83 in November of 2021. So currently trading for around $14, that's a big drop. But also something interesting to point out is one, I'm invested into Marathon Digital, so uh, I wanna make that clear first, but looking at where Marathon Digital was back at the beginning of July, well, it was trading for about $5.40 at that time. So the value of Marathon Digital has more than doubled. We're getting ready to see it triple in value probably here soon. And that's just over the last month pretty much that we've seen that happen with Marathon Digital stock. And that's just off of Bitcoin's price moving just a little bit. Now, one of the reasons is the hash rate for Bitcoin has also been decreased and it's been a little bit easier to mine Bitcoin. And same thing going on with Raya Blockchain, where Raya Blockchain, of course, it's down significantly from where it was at its highs. Where if we look at its highs, it was above $46 back in November and well now Riot Blockchain is trading for $8 and some change. And in the beginning of July, Riot Blockchain stock was trading for around $4. And now it, the price is more than doubled from there. And as far as the blockchain mining stocks go, like as well as CleanSpark, Cut8, Hive Blockchain, Argo Blockchain, and Bitfarms, they're making some pretty big moves just because, well, they're they're mining Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well. Now, something getting ready to happen with a lot of these blockchain stocks is that they're getting ready to start reporting their earnings. And this is very key to understanding what's going on with the overall crypto market because, well, a lot of these guys are holding a lot of Bitcoin. Like Riot Blockchain, for example, who reported that in July, they had produced 318 Bitcoin which was down nearly 28% from a year earlier at the time, but that was due to, well, a heat wave that had come through on Texas and they had to shut down a lot of the rigs. Now the company said it had sold 275 Bitcoin during the month for net proceeds of about $5.6 million, leaving it with about 6,696 self-mined Bitcoin as of July 31st. So that's how much Bitcoin they have on hand. Quite a bit. And for Marathon Digital, I don't have the numbers that they produced for July yet, but I do have the numbers that they produced for the first half of 2022. So as of the date to June 30th, 2022, the company produced 
1,966 Bitcoin, which was 132% more than the same time the period of the prior year. And total amount of Bitcoin that they had reported on hand at that time was 10,055 Bitcoin. And these smaller Bitcoin miners like HUD8, for example, who mined 330 Bitcoin in the month of July, and their total Bitcoin balance on their balance sheet is 7,736 Bitcoin. And HUD-8 stock is down significantly from where it was at its highs, when in November, it was upwards around $16 a share. Now, the stock is at $2.30 and some change right now. Much different uh, change with the price of Bitcoin. But obviously, you could tell that there's a lot of vol volatility here with these blockchain miners, some being, you know, little penny stocks like this one. Now, I'm not here trying to promote penny stocks or anything, just uh, talking about the blockchain miners in general. And just to go through a couple more here, look at Clean Spark stock, which is also down significantly from where it was at its highs, where Clean Spark was above $22 a share. Now it's at about $4.66. I've blockchain, which was at its highs above or around $28, and now it's at $5 or so. Argo blockchain, it was above $20 a share, and now it's at $5 a share. Bed Farms, it was above $9 a share, and now it's at about a buck sixty. Now, blockchain mining stocks are popular for multiple reasons. Now, one thing that a lot of people like about them is it, it is a way to have access to crypto within your stock portfolio without actually buying crypto. That's what a lot of people look at it as a way to have it within their, their IRAs or their 401k, stuff like that. Now, other stocks that deal with crypto though, that aren't dealing with mining, like say micro strategies, for example. Now, micro strategy stock, this is a big crypto stock, real popular for crypto. And Michael Saylor, the CEO, he just recently stepped down, or I should say the ex-CEO, he just recently stepped down and is now just the chairman of MicroStrategy. And if you look at like where this stock has gone from, from being upwards almost at a high of around $900 in the last 52 weeks, and now the stock is valued at $319. But it was at one time much lower. It was at around $150 just back in uh, the middle of June. So for a lot of people that were holding this stock, it has more than doubled itself just over like these last uh, 40 days or so. So um, anyways, the, the whole crypto market is showing a little bit more bullish behavior within it. A, a lot of that, you can really see it by looking into these Bitcoin mining stocks and how they're performing and kind of get an understanding of how that's being viewed in the overall crypto market. When you're seeing these stocks go up more than 100% in just like the last 30, 40 days, that's really telling me something personally. Now, for myself, I am invested into multiple of these stocks that we did talk about. I am invested into Marathon Digital, Riot Blockchain, BitFarms, and uh, Hut8 Mining. So I do have shares of those. So I used to be invested into MicroStrategies, but am no longer. But anyways, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about these, these blockchain miners. What do you guys think? So with that being said, please like, share, comment, subscribe. New content coming out all the time. I'll see you all in the next one coming very soon.